Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today, I've got a little tiny project I want to share with you guys. We talked about mobile antennas on Coffee and Ham Radios the other day on a show, and all the different choices you have for HF as well as VHF and UHF. And we didn't talk about how you tune those antennas very much. We mentioned it, I think, in passing and then moved on. So today, I want to share with you the setup I've got here. I have not tuned this antenna since I put it in the truck and today we're going to do that. Stick with me. I'm going to hand hold this part. So on almost all of these mobile antennas you're going to have some set of set screws and what those set screws allow you to do is to raise this up and down to get the best tune on your antenna. So I also would point out that these look a little rusty at this point and I'm probably, after I get done tuning it, going to tighten these back down and put a little bit of petroleum jelly in there just so that uh, I can keep the rust out of this. All right, I'm using a Rig Expert here. You can use a Nano VNA. I like a Rig Expert. Um, so if you look here, obviously the top three are HF frequencies and no bueno to us here. This is strictly a 2 meter 440 antenna. And you can see what we've got for SWR on the two frequencies shown. On 146.52, we're getting about a 1.3 SWR. And at 446, we're getting about 2.5. So with that as our baseline, let me loosen some screws up. And let's tinker with this a little bit and see if we can get this to change some. All right, so I've got the camera aimed at our meter well enough that I believe you can read that on the screen. And I'm going to loosen up these two adjustment screws here, see if we can better those numbers. And you can see as I touch the antenna, of course, it's also changing the SWR. So this is one of those things where you're going to make small adjustments and see what you get. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And I just raised it up maybe a quarter of an inch. And let me tighten it back up and get my hand away from it. And now we've got 2.0 on two meters and two and a half on 70. So I don't think that's necessarily better. Let me drop it back down a little bit. Get my hand off of it. 1.9 and 2.5. I think we can do a little better. And that's as far down as it goes. There's a little bit of wiggle room in there, but not a tremendous amount. And 2 and 2.5. So let's try going the other way. Let's raise it all the way up. 2.4 and 2.3. So it looks like this is going to be a compromise. Surprise. Either way we do this, we're not going to get 1.1 or 1.2 on both bands at the same time with one antenna. We've got 2.4 and 2.2. Let's see if I can drop this a little more and maybe tweak that in. I'm only going to go about an eighth of an inch at a time now. 2.4 and 2.3, not a huge change. 2.4 and 2.3, 2.3 and 2.4. VHF goes down, UHF looks like it's going up a little bit. We're not seeing much difference either way here. 2.2 two and 2.4, two 2.3 and 2.5, 2.1 and 2.5. And I'm about back to where we started from because I can see the mark on the antenna. I think we've about We've about found our sweet spot either way, all the way down now, 2.0 and 2.8. So that is the adjustment. And what I was doing here, and I don't know how well this is going to focus on that. Let me put my hand in there first. There we go. Right here, those are the two adjustment screws on this particular antenna is these guys right here. It would vary from antenna to antenna how this is set up. The antenna I showed the other day on coffee and ham radios, I've actually thrown that away. That was a, a uh, was that a diamond or a comet SB2? I can't remember the brand. It was an SB2 that uh, didn't survive a parking deck. And it had an adjustment spring kind of set up similar to this. This is a two meter antenna I bought off of Amazon. This is a HYS something or other. And I'll put a link to this in the description below. This is currently what I'm using for a two meter antenna for my Yesu 
FT2800, which is mounted on my dash. It just uh, stays on 5.2 most of the time. And I'm using a completely different antenna uh, for my FTM500, and it's mounted on a mount on the door. And it has a similar adjustment on it. That is how you're going to adjust a mobile antenna. I'm sure there are other antennas that have some kind of similar thing. But at the end of the day, what you're doing is the same kind of thing you're doing with an HF antenna, like an NFED or a random wire. You're going to set some length, and then depending on the components that are made, that your antenna is made out of, then you're going to adjust that length because of velocity factor, yada, 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 of your coax and everything else. So it might make a difference. This was already pretty much spot on when I got it. This is the first time I've ever tried to adjust this particular antenna at all. I just wanted to share with you guys how you do it because I've gotten some antennas or seen some that come in two or three pieces and you have to actually put the antenna element in there and tweak it yourself. This particular one, I got it this way, put together and it was apparently done at the factory and I gotta say they did a good job. Guys, that's all I've got in this video. If you would, please make sure you share this with your buddies. Like, share, subscribe, yada, yada. All that stuff is in the dingus below. Ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks, y'all. 73.